What's going on, everybody? It is March 5th, 2024. And this is the calm before the storm. It sure is. Welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm glad to have you here. Um, it looks like starting tomorrow at about 3 p.m. to 3.30, we're gonna have a little snow coming through. I'm hoping it's gonna be snow, not, not predicted to snow and turn into rain as usual, like we've seen all season, but during, during the beginning part of the storm, the, the beginning half, we could see about an inch of snow, and then in the evening time, we could get one to three inches of snow. So it's not, it's, it's not gonna be too something, it's not gonna be something out of control, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I guess anything's worth it, but I really wanna see these ski resorts get even more snow. Apparently, um, from so many articles I saw, Bear Mountain got like 150 inches of snow in February. Really? Interesting. I didn't know that. Um, I, I mean, is it the very, very top and like the top of the highest tree at the very top? Because uh, you guys saw these videos for every couple days going right, right by Bear and up alongside Bear, and there wasn't um, like 12 feet of snow. There wasn't six feet of snow. There wasn't even three feet of snow. But again, a lot of times when uh, this type of stuff is divulged to the public, they'll say, and I've, I've seen this happen a lot, they'll say, yeah, they got all this snow. For instance, a couple years ago, and this is just one example, I remember hearing from a lot of, a lot of you guys that were super, super angry because... Uh, I even saw Dallas Rains and other people on the news were like, Big Bear and, you know, Snow Summit and, and Big Bear Mountain have, like, they have three brand new feet of snow, ski conditions are absolutely perfect, and when people got here to town, there wasn't any snow. It was absolutely zero. The snow line was about halfway up the mountain, and the top of the mountain got a few feet of snow but down at the base it was raining when most of you guys got here so that's a big reason this channel is very important is because you guys can see with your own eyes and make your own judgments of course I want you guys to come up here and spend money and enjoy yourselves we need you guys to come spend a bunch of money up here we really do but I don't want it to be in any way a, 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 you know a deceptive thing but if, if they want to if they say 12 feet of snow here, then so be it. But you guys tell me. Again, I'm assuming they're talking about the, the extreme top of the mountain. And I can maybe see half of that, but it's just tough. It's just tough, tough, tough. Because I, I really want to make sure that, again, you guys are getting all, all the real honest stuff about this place. So you don't waste your time. Because I know you guys take time off work, which costs money, or uh, and then you're spending money up here. And most of you uh, are responsible people, not just sitting on the couch collecting a check. So, um, it, you know, it means something to you. So yeah, I just wanted to, uh, I don't know why I got off on that tangent right there, but sometimes I do, sometimes I get off on these tangents. So we're gonna go up to the highest point we can go at Bear Mountain, which is maybe like a, a quarter of the way up this, uh, we'll, we'll be able to go higher up than the bunny slope on this road uh, for sure, but yeah. And obviously, as I said, I haven't been up to the very top. I have no idea. I just don't see how that's possible that this place got record snowfall for the month of February. The most snow this mountain has ever seen in February. Guys, you've got to watch this channel and see with your own eyes. That's all I'm saying. And don't forget, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Check out the merchandise if you want to help support the channel. And in the description of every video, there's other ways you can support the channel as well. We could really use it, and I know you guys would be stoked with all the products that we have. It's a lot more stuff than you guys think, and it's very, very high quality. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you guys anything that's 
super, super low end stuff. I want good stuff, but I don't want it to be the most expensive out there, but I do want it to be ex extremely high quality. Like lots of our hoodies are made by Champion and um, yeah, just the quality of our t-shirts are phenomenal. That's so beautiful though, right guys? Look at that. It's such a beautiful place. It's 46 degrees up here. And hey, those of you who are coming up here to go skiing and snowboarding, if you're gonna have to rent your stuff, rent your stuff at Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. I have all their information in the description and in the comment section of the video. Um, they have two shops, a ride shop and a, a ski shop, and they are both one block and two blocks away from our village on Big Bear Boulevard, both on the same side of the street. Um, by far, best prices up here. The most awesome staff up here, extremely knowledgeable. And uh, if you bring in your own gear, if you don't need to rent something, but you bring in your own gear, they will wax your skis and snowboards free of charge if you mentioned you're a friend of this channel. So give them a shot. And last but not least about that wonderful spot called get boards if you uh want to save some money on your lift tickets and i know all of you do go to getboards.com and purchase your lift ticket 72 hours in advance of actually going skiing and you'll save money as opposed to going to the ticket window on the day of your skiing go to getboards.com 72 hours ahead of time and you'll save some money just trying to do my part for you guys So yeah, this is probably gonna be a shorter than usual comp before the storm. There's not much to really show at the moment. And I do have to make a journey down the mountain today. Wait till the golf course is open. That's going to be so much fun. Hi there. So yeah, just to show you guys also kind of how much traffic's up here right now. We're just going to take a little journey over to uh, Summit. not much going on up here right now as you saw the parking lots at the ski resort was or at that ski resort bear mountain was well, it was pretty packed but if these other satellite parking lots have cars in them that's when you know it's 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 really crowded so we're going to drive by one of the satellite parking lots on brownie and see what's going on there and then we're going to go check out summit if they let me through they probably should because it's almost 3 p.m.
mind it is a weekday, it is Tuesday. Quite the uh, talks about uh, merging these ski resorts, which I think would be a great idea. In between Snow Summit over there, in between Summit and Bear Mountain, um, they could create a few more awesome runs and turn this into one big ski resort. And personally, I think that would be great. I think it would uh, bring more luster to this town that, that we have a world-class ski resort here. I'm sure people will argue with me saying, well, they already are world-class. Okay. I used to live in Colorado and, and in Utah. So, I, I mean, these are great ski resorts for what they are. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, these are absolutely great, but uh, I mean, I don't know about world-class. Even though this is where Sean White did learn. So they do have parking people here. We're not gonna mess mess with them right now. But I believe parking is free on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays here. Now we're going through pothole heaven here on Again, do not get me wrong. Our our ski resorts are of all the places I've skied, our bear is my favorite place because of the nostalgia. But I'm telling you, if they opened up that in-between area, my goodness, this place would rival, man, so many of the massive ski resorts. It would rival some of Tahoe's resorts. It's good stuff. And I want the best for our town, and I think that would be the absolute best for our town. Build a nice four-star hotel or, or or something really, really super nice and have a beautiful gondola going from from the bottom of the hotel to the top of the of the resort. Tomorrow. That's 
why I'm going down tonight or right now after this video instead of going down tomorrow like I wanted to because I'll be busy doing videos. Signal, signal buddy. Oh my gosh. Fox Farm Road and we're going to take this into, into Moon Ridge. And then that'll be it for the calm before the storm. Just, just doing a little, a little loop around this part of town so you guys can see what is on the ground right now. I'm telling you, just to be able to see everything turn white again, that's going to be beautiful. So I really hope it does happen, but When it comes to this town's forecasting, maybe the opposite is what you should focus on and expect because it, it's so hard for forecasting up here. We're right on that snow line so much of the time. A couple hundred feet makes a huge difference when most other places, obviously every mountain range, a few hundred feet at a certain elevation makes a huge difference, but we're right there in that couple hundred feet <laughs> kind of area. So that little turn we just made right there, it, we were on Fox Farm Road and it turned into McAllister. We're on McAllister now. When there's a lot of traffic on the boulevard, you guys, this is another one of those back routes that I'm gonna teach you guys. I've showed you guys numerous times over the past decade, but this summer I'm gonna make a few specific shortcut videos. <clears throat> really focus on the directions and stuff like that for you guys just so it's not as confusing as I know I make it I always have to throw this in there because a handful of locals get get really mad at me for wanting to help you guys out so it makes me want to help you even more um, but I understand that you guys the friends of the channel are not gonna be driving like bats out of hell through these neighborhoods and you're gonna be respectful because I will be sending you through neighborhoods and the speed limits in neighborhoods are 25 miles an hour. But even going that slow, like we're going right now, you're going to be, uh, yeah, 25-ish. Even going this slow, when we have some good snow out there, you're gonna be saving yourself an absolute huge amount of time time is everything for you guys coming up to visit so anyway thanks for cruising i appreciate it guys as i said it's gonna be a shorter than average calm before the storm but i think you guys get the point here i think you guys get the point do me a favor hit that like button and subscribe and uh yeah as i said if, if you want to help the channel out it's a win-win situation go to bigbearweatherandmore.com get yourself some merch and as i said there's other ways to help in the description of every video thank you guys again for all the support we're back here at moon ridge and until tomorrow when the storm begins i will see you guys then love you all peace out